sure if you guys can see it, but that's the hair. This is the third hair removal product I'm using all my life. The first one is NAIR, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, I've used that one and also I use a Pansley hair removal spray and this product i've used it for the first time in less than 24 hours and i'd say by far it is the best i've used so i was just super excited to jump onto this review and let you guys know you have to watch the entire review to find out everything i think about the product and please remember to subscribe if you're new here like the video comment share to other people shop with us at www.sharegorgeous.co.uk I ordered this product on Amazon and it took less than a week to come in. Um, it's got here that extra strength shaving powder and it also says it's made to target people of color. So it's a metallic container like so. This is how it looks. This metallic container. The colors here are white and red and black. The writings are in black. It's in white and red as well. It's got all the instructions on how to use the product here at the back. It's a really good um, package. When you squeeze it, it can easily have a dent. So you want to be handling it properly and storing it properly as well. This is how the packaging comes in and the lid is not that easy to open. You want to get something to help you open it. I won't open it just now so I don't spill the powder, but I'll show you guys when I'm opening it and how I make it. Okay, so keep watching. The first benefit you get when using this product is that it stops razor bombs from forming. Now, unlike the traditional shaving stick, when you use it, you will get um, bumps on your skin, but with this one, you don't get it. And next, it helps to leave a smooth finish and also it helps to remove hair. So that's the three main benefits you get when you use this patty cloth powder. let's start making the paste so all you need is the shaving powder and a bowl and a tablespoon you open the powder container you take two tablespoons a heap of it and then next you get cool water and you put in two tablespoons of water once you're done you give it a really good mix like so you just keep mixing till you are satisfied with the consistency of the paste and yeah that's it ready I'll now talk you through how to use the product. If it's your first time using it, please make sure you do a sensitivity test first, just to be sure it's suitable for your skin type. Now, this is how you want to go about it. You just get a teaspoon of the powder, and then you mix it with half a teaspoon of water. Um, after mixing it, apply it in a small section of the area you want to remove the hair, and leave it on for about eight minutes, Wipe the hair off, the hair will come off because um, yeah, it's a hair removal product anyway. And then you want to wait for about 36 hours after applying to see if you get any sort of irritation or any reaction to the product. And if that doesn't happen, that's you pass the test, you can go ahead and use the product. A tip I'll give is that about a day or two before using the product, make sure you don't use 
any razor in that area or scratch that area it's just cause if you do that um, when you use a product it might um, burn and you don't want that at all and also right before using the product don't wash off the area just leave it as it is go straight into mixing your product and then applying it in the area for the hair removal in case you use the razor in that area it's fine you can still use it but please wait for 36 hours after 36 hours you can go ahead and use this powder mixture in the area and that way you shouldn't have any sort of sensitivity when you apply So this is how my armpit looks. I left it to go just so I can show you if this product works. So we've obviously made a paste already. That's me applying it into my armpits. Sorry guys, I couldn't get gloves at home. Make sure you use gloves cause um, yeah, to protect your fingers. The product can be quite strong for your fingers. So use gloves and then you leave it on um, according to the company five to seven minutes. I left it on to dry for about um, 10 minutes and once it's ready you wipe it off with a damp cloth I used wipes as you can see the hairs have come off it does work I also applied it on my face um, the company did say it's meant to be used on the face but um, I was thinking it's a hair removal product so it should be used anywhere and yeah Hey there, I'm sorry to interrupt, just a quick reminder to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification for future uploads. Thank you. And a word of caution guys please, after using the product and getting your results, don't use any aftershave products that contains alcohol. It's one of the instructions the company gave, so I thought I'd let you guys know. I think it might trigger some sort of sensitivity. Obviously, it's alcohol, it can burn. So please be aware of this so you don't fall a victim. The company states that it should only be used for facial hair, but obviously in this video, you saw me use it to remove my armpit hair. I thought that face was more grown and more visible for you guys to see the results. That's why I did that. So I want to believe that obviously you can use it for any hair in any part of your body, um, but that's what the company says. But um, go ahead to use it in other parts of your body if you wanted to. It is your choice. I will use it for my armpit, but it's just for you guys to know these said is strictly for facial hairs well they didn't say strictly for facial hairs but they said it is for facial hair so yeah something for you guys to know about The company recommends to consult a dermatologist if you have an inflamed skin, sores or abrasive skin. Make sure you speak to a professional and once they give you a go ahead, you use the product. And finally, the company also says not to use this product after a prolonged exposure to the sun. Personally, it's been about over 15 hours I used the product and I'm happy I'm having to film it in less than 24 hours after using the product and I've had just a mild irritation um, under my armpit that also means if you had underlying skincare issues that's the more reason why you want to speak with a medical professional before you go ahead and use it but um, it is good I've not had any major reaction whatsoever let me know what you think and any tips as well you use with this powder if you've used it before please let me know about it I love hearing about your opinions thank you so much for watching this review guys I'm out of here goodbye <laughs>